So starting off really simple with the filter section on our mixers. So I'll throw a, a, a house record in, like a nice deep, deep house record. So what I want to do is I want to create dynamic in this record and I want to show you how the filter section with the distortion and the way it works, you can produce from beautiful natural sweeps to more aggressive style filters. So starting off first, I've, I've moved the resonance knob round a little bit. So I want to create a, a dynamic within the sweep of the filter. So I've got this, this distortion down, engage the filter. So there you're dropping that bottom end out. You've got a little bit of resonance in the sound. You're able to throw it back in. So that works really well within an environment where you want to create some push and pull within the record. Naturally it has filters, naturally it has delays and reverbs within the sound. But what we're trying to do here is we're trying to create some more added effect to make you completely unique in how you use your, your performance really. So I've tried the high pass filter there, let's go into the low pass. So essentially, now I'm creating a slow sweep in the low pass. So I can create, so going right down there and coming back out which is great. Then if I move on to the bandpass, you press them both at the same time. So what the bandpass will do is it'll band, it'll create a band in the frequency. So essentially there, so you can create it up and down. You can move the resonance around and create more of a natural sound. Go and come back out. So straight back in. What I tend to really like to do is punch the filters in and out and then maybe sweep it back, so that's really cool. So if I want to punch a low pass in, so I'll drop the sound out. You know, so you straight back in, or you can punch it out and then sweep it back in. If you want it to sound more natural, just change the resonance a bit, really. So then it's much more natural, throwing it back in. You can even switch between onto bandpass, switch the resonance. So it's all kind of done on the fly. So there's no right or wrong thing to do with it. It's just, depending on what the type of music that you're playing, you might want to be really natural with the sound or you might want to be quite aggressive. And that's a real joy of being able to understand how this effect, how the filtration unit works and how to get the best out of it. Now, touching on the distortion section, the distortion section works when the filter section's engaged. So what I'll do now is, I'll just pop the high pass filter on, I'll bring that distortion section in. So you can start to hear it now. So what that's crunching up the sound, it's making it sound really granular and grainy. If you push the distortion loads, the side chain will come on. And then you can turn it on and off. There. You know, you can use it over bars of music. It works really good with like techno -y stuff. So you can use it there. You know, when you can cut it in and out, obviously it'll turn it off when you turn the filter off. Then you cut, say if you want to cut it in now. Oh, heavy. So you can turn it on and off, which is great. So remember, we're only using the filter section here, so we haven't started using the effects section. But I just want to show you how effective it is in creating filter sweeps, creating punches, creating natural natural filters, or creating quite a heavy rhythm, depending on what style of music you want to play. Like I said, I've chosen like a deep house record for this one, because it just showcases everything, but you use it with any style of music, really. Uh, again, just throw it in. You can almost adjust the resonance on the fly as well. So you might want it sounding more natural, then as you bring it up, you might want to create that rhythm there, create that cue in the filter, drop it back in and out again. Add some, add some distortion as you're coming down there. So that's the side chain and out again. So there's so many ways to be able to create your own sound with the filter. And naturally, it just sounds great. It just gives you so much scope globally. So essentially there, 
drop that in, back out. And at the end of a track, you know, at the end of a set, maybe you want to start to just filter it all out. So then you're fading out and fade the track out. You know, to finish off at the end of a night or whatever. <laughs> 